Hello guys Filmy XPLAIN here. Today I am going to explain a Dutch family film called Eep. Spoilers ahead watch out and take care. At the beginning of the movie, we see a small town in Netherlands. A person named War lives in an isolated farm with his wife whose name is Tim. The main habit that Wara has is to watch woods. During his free time he goes out into the woods and watches birds with his binoculars. He also writes a book about birds. One fine day when War is watching the woods, he hears chippering noise in the woods of birds nearby. He follows the noise and he was surprised to see a tiny creature which was lying on the ground. It is so small that it fits in the palms of a hand. The strange creature has a face and a body like a human girl, but it has wings instead of having arms. War searches for her mother by looking at the sky. But he does not find any bird, where is amazed to see such creature, as has never seen anything like it nor he has read anything about the creature. And he thinks that it is a rare specie that no one has seen, and he was fascinated. So he decided to take it home to show it to his wife. His wife's name is Tyne and Tyne is amazed to see such creature with wings. Tyne removes things from the basket that she has on the dining table. And she uses the basket as stay for the little girl. Tyne wants to call the police and hand over the little girl to the police so that they could investigate about the creature. But War didn't think so. He wants to take the girl and raise it as their own as they have no children. We see Tyne lovingly sing a lullaby to her. They started adapting the little girl and treating her as in their own. Tyne dips her finger in the water and feeds the little girl at night. They continuously look at the child that is found. They start to make her name so that they could call the creature with it. Wara wants to name the bird as Birdie. But they finally come to a conclusion that they should name it as Vigilch. The next day we see the Tyne buys a Barbie doll that comes with a changeable dress for Vigilch and a tiny baby bottle to feed her. In the meanwhile, War makes Vigilch a large stroller so that they could take her outside like a normal child. But the problem is when they wish to put the bird in the stroller we see her wings are still visible. Sot Tyne makes the solution by cutting war socks and sews it into a tiny poncho to hide Vigilch swings. And the solution was amazing and it works. And they were able to take their daughter for a stroll in the town. While they were roaming in the city Vigilch makes noise. Which appears that she is trying to talk with them but what he doesn't think so. And he believes that she is more a bird rather than a human. So she might be chippering we see some women from the city are amazed and excited to see their new child. Wara informs them that they have adopted the child. When the woman tried to prolong the conversation by asking them questions about how why she's tiny, both the parents cut their conversations and leave silently. As the time passes, Vigilch has got bigger she is now barely fit in the dining table basket but she has not learned how to talk and only makes noises like a bird. One fine day we see that Tyne notices something strange about which her daughter is trying to fly. She starts acting like a bird rather than a human. She is very upset about the fact because she wants Vigilch to be a human rather than a bird. But she knew that she was different. She tries everything to make her look more humans by teaching her how to speak and eat with her feeder. The two have made a tiny gribble for Vigilch right beside their bed. But when she is scared, she jumps in between the couple and hugs them. One day, Tyne heard something that Vigilch has said the word is Ninny. Since that the girl is calling her name. From the day onwards Tyne tries to teach the alphabet but which the girl doesn't understand anything. Tyne is obsessed about Vigilj. Eating bugs from the floor. Thinking that it is normal for birds to eat bugs. She serves Vigilj worms on a plate and made her use her feet to eat it. She is frustrated to see that she cannot able to do it. Then she believes that Vigilj can only learn manners by looking at the people around her. But in the next day Tyne takes Vigilj to a restaurant. But strangely. Vigilch sees the birds flapping their wings and does the same. She is afraid of being noticed then she takes Vigilch to a bathroom and requests Vigilch to not to flap her wings there. She waits outside talking to women. When Vigilch doesn't come out after some time, she opens the door but shockingly. She only sees her shoes and she also sees that Vigilch is flying away through the window and yells her name but her daughter doesn't respond. Tyne goes back home. Still worried for her daughter and tells Wara about the incident. Then they assumes that Vigilch doesn't have gone far. So they try to track her down and they start to make their way to the town to look for her in the meanwhile. We see that Vigilch is flying with some of the birds she is enjoying while flying but suddenly, the wind blows and Vigilch loses balance and lands on someone's bed through a skylight window. Then we see that the room belongs to a girl named Loach. Loach is fascinated by Vigilch wings and asks her where she got them. The two befriend each other. Loach's father doesn't have time to play with her, so she finds solace elsewhere. War and Tyne reach the town and goes to an airline information desk, where they does not get information they need. Then they decide to stay in a hotel where they could spend the night. In the meanwhile, 
Vloach pretends that she's also a bird like Vigilch. She takes her friend to a nearby tree which Vigilch easily climbs up and sleeps on a branch, while Loach sleeps on a lower branch. War and Tyne couldn't stay at the hotel because they see that all the rooms were booked before they could book them. Then they made their way to the same tree that Vigilch and Loach has sleeping and they have slept underneath it. In the morning, we see that Loach is telling about a bird girl sleeping on the upper branch. But before they can go to her, Vigilj has already flown away, as both Warrior and Tiny. When they tries to leave Loach follows them, claiming that that she will be useful in finding Vigilj. Then they take a bus and starts to follow a flock of birds. Tyne argues that Loach is a girl and she's a child. She really doesn't want to involve her. But the little girl claims that she can take care of herself. You can see that Vigilj is flying with a group of birds, but she cannot keep up because he is larger than all other birds. She lands on a roof of a church. Then we see the people are fearing for her and they call the firefighters to rescue her. While firefighter tries to reach her, Vigilj flies away from him. Then the people thinks that the girl was taken away by the eagles. The news spreads across the nation through the television and War 2 comes to know about it. Then the couple goes to the firefighter's house and they discuss about Vigilj's secret that she is a bird. The firefighter doesn't understand what they were saying and doesn't believe them. But he informs them that the bird went south. He tries to help them the group then makes their way. Meanwhile Vigilj comes to a tiny house in the middle of Norway. She is sitting at the window catching some birds when they fly away. She too joins them but suddenly some gunshots were heard. The group follows the noise and Loach finds Vigilj at the bottom of the well. They use the firefighter equipment to go down the well and they have seen that it is just little girl's poncho, as you can see. The night approaches, they are failed in finding Vigilj so the group decides to stay the night at a hotel. Tyne has started treating Loach as her own daughter. At night we see the Loach has noticed a strange boy outside her room. She joins him and the two have a nice chat. Later at night the boy is sleeping on his bed and he suddenly hears a noise under the bed. Since Vigilch sleeping under her bed he's surprised. He remembers. Loach's story that she has told him. The two return to see that Vigilch is still there. All of them get under the bed and sleep for the night. Loach is very happy to see her friend back in the morning the boy's mother comes to clean the house and she entered into his room to clean it. The kids decide to inform Vigilj's parents, but suddenly Vigilj has flown away again. Before they get to her, now it's time for the group to continue their search for Vigil. However, Loach doesn't want to leave the boy he is the only friend she has ever had. And unlike Vigilj, he doesn't run away. Tyne has understood the little girl and lets her stay. We see that the three of them started continuing their journey. But the fireman gets weak and decides to stay in a nearby shed. Then we see the other two people have entered into a jungle and they have crossing a river. War is very tired in their search and informs Tyne that they should rest for a day. They goes back to the shed and have slept there. At the middle of the night, we see that the firefighter has hearing a noise which is a chippering noise. And he wakes up he's shocked to see that Vigil just hanging upside down on a tree. We see that her wings are injured while flying. The firefighter then rescues her and treats her wounds. Vigilch is cured and she succeeds in flying again. In the morning, the firefighter tells about the whole story to Tyne and Wura and tells them that their daughter is fine. He leaves from the two, but the couple still searches for their daughter then they reach a beach and they see their daughter flying towards the sea. Then they have understood that they have raised her daughter that she can handle herself now. They have took a bus to get back home. But Wara hears says chirping noise. Before they have got on the bus, he then makes his way to the sea and his wife too follows him behind. There he sees vigilantly is drowning in the water where he rescues his daughter and brings her back. In the next scene, we see that the three of them are having dinner the couple hearts filled with joy to have their daughter back and they started celebrating by drinking. But in the next morning, we see that Vigil just trying to fly again through the window then the couple feels unhappy for their decision that the daughter must stay with them and they decided to let her daughter free. They finally decided to let her be happy. Wara and Tyne takes her to the meadow that she was found in. They give her a kiss and lets her fly away. Subscribe for more videos like this. Leave a like to help the channel out and drop a comment about how you feel about this movie. Thanks for watching.